is Community Living Month. It's it's a month dedicated to talking about inclusion and bringing awareness to the community. Um, I guess for just those who are watching who may not know, um, let's what is Community Living Huntsville? Well, Community Living Huntsville is an organization that uh, provides supports and services and advocacy for people who live with a label of developmental disability, so children and adults and their families. And so let's talk about some of the things that um, uh, community living has done over the past few weeks, even in the, in the month to commemorate Community Living Month and, and what's been important to the organization okay. in particular. Well, Community Living Month, first of all, is celebrated all across the province and this year, for instance, um, the CN Tower is uh, displayed with community living lights for the month of May. Oh. So across the province there are different things happening and here in Huntsville, we started last week on uh, May 4th mm -hmm. with a fundraising breakfast called Investing in Inclusion. And uh, it was fabulous. We, it went um, above our expectations. The response from community was absolutely inspiring. It was 210 people and yeah, we were thrilled. So let's talk about, before we get into what, what you're doing or what the organization's mm -hmm. doing for the rest of the month, um, Talk about, we talked about this off air and I really wanted to, to bring right. this up. The differences, the the growth, the the inclusion, the awareness, how has that changed over the years of your service here in Huntsville? Well, I, I've been here for over 25 years mm -hmm. and um, Huntsville has always been pretty receptive uh, to our work when we've approached people and when we've explained who we are. But I think we're finding in the last maybe, I don't know, five to 10 years, when we're approaching people, many of them now know who we are, and, and that's a big difference. And um, I think people are also, besides knowing who we are at Community Living Huntsville, people are knowing what inclusion means and the benefits of inclusion to the whole community. And, I, and, and with that, inclusion comes also a responsibility to give back, because you have all these people who are utilizing the services and their families mm -hmm. um, feeling that they want to give back because this organization has done so much for them, right? So the whole concept of inclusion is everybody contributes their gifts, abilities, and talents. So yes, it is giving back, but it, it, it's more than just giving back. It's being included so that naturally community um, benefits from everybody's, as I said, gifts, abilities, and talents. Well, there's been certainly certain members of the of Community Living Huntsville that I've met throughout mm -hmm. the years that have, it's almost been like night and day. Can you talk yeah. about maybe a couple of the people that really, for you, just was uh, just an inspiration in itself about, yes, this is who we are. This is what we oh do. Oh my goodness, that's I know challenge. there's so many. I know. <laughs> um, I, I think overall, who was excluded and segregated for so long, it has been so inspiring for me personally uh, just to have discovered that, to discover inclusion and um, you know how much it's brought to my life. I, sometimes I used to say, you know, I think what we do is like the community's best kept secret because we, besides working, we, we reap lots of benefits uh, from getting to know people. Um, that yeah, I, I can't even think of. <laughs> I can. I, over my work in this field, which is getting close to 30 years, I have learned so many lessons um, from people I've supported over the years. Uh, some of the biggest, I think, is um, the power of choice. And um, I kind of alluded to this at the, at the breakfast, the resilience of the human spirit. So sometimes, you know, people who had been so segregated and, um, in, in many cases from years ago, experienced abuse, and they rise above all of that, and just what they bring is, is truly inspirational for me. Um, I said, they've stretched my perceptions. When I started working in this field, I don't think I really had any idea what I was going to be doing, but it has been um, a labor of love for sure. If anybody was interested in um, any of the programs that you're offering, like the community tours that you have going on, um, yes. where can they go or um, do you have a website? Where can they go to get we more do. of that We have a website. So one of the other things about our Investing in Inclusion Breakfast and what, what we want to do is besides raising funds, we need to raise awareness about inclusion. So we've also started last year hosting celebrating inclusion tours. Mm -hmm. They're one hour long, you're in and out of there in one hour, 
and um, we explain a little bit more through stories, our work and the impact our work has not just on the people receiving our supports, but on community. Perfect. So yes, we have a website, clhuntsville.ca, and uh, all the information will be there.